in the Western Pacific, apparently across uh, one of the Japanese lines between the outposts and the empire, as we call it. In other words, ships returning to Japan. We were on the surface, a flat sea, broad daylight. One of the lookouts spotted a, some masts. Turned out to be a pretty large merchant ship escorted by two destroyers, one on the port bow and one on the starboard bow, which was their normal position. They would normally take a position ahead of the ship they were escorting uh, so that if a submarine were trying to torpedo the merchant ship, he would be right in a position where one of the escorts could attack him. It turned out that we did get into position right ahead, about, uh, oh, maybe 400 yards, dead ahead of the port destroyer when we fired. We fired at the ship. By that time, we were at periscope depth. I looked to see whether any torpedoes were hitting the target when I heard the noise of water running along the side of the conning tower, and the depth control had been a little faulty, and for some reason or other, we broached dead ahead of the destroyer. He, of course, immediately speeded up, and we did the same thing. We had to go ahead full to drive the ship down, drive ourselves down, the submarine down. That caused a big swirl of water aft of our propellers. The destroyer, with nothing else as a reference, went past and dropped a marker on that swirl and then came around and depth charged it several times. Turned out that our tactic of going ahead full from a broached condition was a good decoy. It gave the destroyers a false target and we escaped unscathed. 